What's going down, big baby? It's your boy Ed Hunter. I want to welcome you to the Den Show, uh, discussing everything normally. We're going to get into a conversation today. You ain't got to waste a whole lot of time with it. Uh, this video has been going around. It's actually multiple videos pertaining to the same incident, and I want to talk about it. I want to talk about it a couple of days ago, but now some follow-up has kind of come out with it. And I really want to get into this situation and discuss how prevalent this situation really is in America. It's not a one-off thing. It happens a lot more than we want to admit. And I want to talk about why it's our fault that this problem keeps happening. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Let's not waste a whole lot of time. Uh, the Walmart mom with the freezing baby, if you haven't seen it, let's check it out now. That baby just had a pimp on. Now let's take note, like this is like last week or so on September, there was like all that cold air was coming through the U.S., uh, especially in the South, we're having a lot of freezes down here in Texas, they were freezing up, so I can only imagine this happening in Mississippi, they're probably not used to these type of temperatures, and you have your baby outside in nothing but a plastic bag and pamper, while you got all work boots, who knows whose work boots, a sweater, uh, you got the Mexican work boots and the, the Afro hat thing going, real culture clash going on, but we'll get into that later. Um, just for note, for those of you who may not know, but if you have been seeing it, then you should be familiar with, with what's going on right now. I can't. Listen. I can't. Okay. 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 Yeah, don't do that. Now, it's cold outside. Y'all already in the freezer section. She in the freezer section. I'll be telling y'all fellas whenever you go to the grocery store, y'all be looking at chick, look at what she put in the basket. Now, this case, she got a kid in the basket, so maybe look, just keep on pushing. But you look at, she throwing frozen food on the cold baby. This is negligence at, 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 at its simplest, right? The kids are already shattered, I mean, shattered, <laughs> shaking, shivering, teeth chattering, and I'm mixing up words. And you throwing cold food on them, you're just gonna throw in the microwave and feed them, right? Again, all these strangers trying to tell you something, instead of addressing the concerns of your child, this is what you decide to do. Somebody call police. No, what's wrong with you? Somebody call police on her. Who are you? Lower my voice. Tell me to lower your voice to a grown ass man. This is the problem. No leadership, no structure, no respect. And so, no respect for a man who's trying to look out for the well-being of your child. The people who are trying to look out for the well-being of your child. Again, there's several women around as well, but you choose to you know, attack the man. And again, he may be the closest one. It is what it is. But you're talking to an elder. You're 26. This man looks to be probably, in, you know, 40, late 40s, 50s, maybe older than that. I might be being generous. But no respect. You start trying to talk to him like he's your child, a child that you need to be taken care of instead of arguing with people in the store. And this situation wouldn't occur. But let's carry on. And this is this is the black woman that is fine. This is this is black excellence, folks. <clears throat> this is what black women do when they feel that they've successfully accomplished something. They start twerking. Lizzo told you it was the ancient African warrior dance. Or the, man, no, it's just shaking your fucking ass. It's not the same shit they doing in Africa. There ain't no cultural. Then y'all ain't start doing that shit until the little white girl with the chicken butt started doing it. Now, down in the South, Louisiana, South Texas, been on that shit since the 90s. We've been hip to it. Like, it ain't nothing new. Y'all got hip to it once the little white girl started doing it. Now y'all started taking twerk teams and swearing out. Y'all stole that shit from the boot, right? It is what it is. Now, everybody does it. When you when you go brain dead, when a black woman goes brain dead in the mind and can no longer speak, coherently can no longer uh engage in discourse she just starts shaking her ass because she ain't got nothing else to do you see it time and time again all the time anyway back to it what the hell somebody call police on her no it ain't since i've already called two times i keep passing once you got hot water fire extinguisher but when you come in the stove fully dressed in your baby's night right now Kids do that. I got one. Right so, oh, okay. so, so she got to try to invalidate your advice to justify, you know, her negligence, right? Well, how many kids you got? That's always the excuse. Well, you ain't got no kids. There's a person who has no kids. I'm always told, but we's all kids. We all know how to fuck to be raised. What's right and what's wrong, right? But that's all. Well, how many kids you got? That's your kids are special needs. They're not too much different than any other child. Right, and I know that children like to have clothes on when it's freezing cold outside. I mean, that's at the, at the at the bare minimum, keep the child warm. But again, 
If he said none or whatever, then that would have, you don't know what the fuck you talking about, shut the fuck up. Probably would have got another twerk out of it. Anyway, somebody hit that. Y'all look disgusting. Shame on y'all. She just sad. That's just sad. Extremely sad, right? So when the first video came out, I saw people talking about, oh, instead of recording her, y'all need to help her. Y'all need to do this. And, and look, everybody ain't for being saved. There obviously, there's something going on there. What needs to be helped is the kids need to be taken away, which I do believe happened, but we'll kind of get into that a little bit more. But let's follow up because there is a second part to this video, right? And in the second part, you see actual remedy taking place. <laughs> ungrateful you know that for whatever reason your child your child does not have clothes on they're shivering they're shaking but at risk of getting sick pneumonia whatever else it may be instead you rather sit on there tweeting on the phone you're probably talking shit about the people who help you probably telling everybody you getting accosted because you're a black woman in public uh minding your own business and people are attacking you instead of at least helping the kid put the clothes on saying thank you you know for this generous gift of, of putting these clothes on my child but she needs help. No, she needs to fucking help herself. But back at it. Oh, baby. respectful man people trying these people are helping you right these people are helping you assisting you in a situation you obviously can't assist yourself in right but all of a sudden it's always the moms are the best choice it's always the moms are in the best position to take care of these kids we see time and time again that these mothers are failing these children strangers coming to the aid of your child strangers knowing better but you asking how many kids they got but obviously they know how to raise your child better than you do but there's a little bit more to this story that we got to follow up on. So before we get any further, I want to give a little bit more insight as to what took place, right? So the woman was arrested, right? And uh, <laughs> she's claiming that she's the one that's oppressed. And we're going to get into that. Uh, I've got more video to show all of this. And this is why I say that most women these days are delusional because you have so many women defending her actions. And the fact that she feels like she's the one that's being oppressed, that she's the one that's being harassed is ridiculous. But let's just kind of run it down so you kind of have an idea of what's going on. Her name, the woman in the African bonnet and the Mexican cowboy boots and work boots. Uh, Cambria Gabrielle Darby, 26, was arrested in the car park of the store, uh, Walmart, in Byron, Mississippi, a suburb of Jackson, about 10.30 a.m. It's 10.30 in the morning, right? And it's cold as shit, and you got your baby outside fucking freezing. Um, police put the boy in a warm car, called paramedics to assess him. CPS took him away and released him to a relative, along with his two siblings. And... If you kind of read further in this article, we can tell who the relative probably is. And I don't think the kids are probably any better off. Uh, Darby was charged with contributing to the neglect or delinquency of a child and booked in the Hines County Detention Center, right? And why don't they never look like, why are they be one way in the video and they look completely different? And when you take the stuff out their head, it actually looks better without the bullshit in your head. Um, they look like completely different people. Take all the makeup off. Take all the other stuff off. You don't know who these people are that you're dealing with, right? And it, it goes all the way around. So uh, face up to six years in jail if convicted. Uh, Felicia Nicole, a Walmart worker, confronted the mother. Uh, we'll see that in a moment. Said, I don't feel sorry for her. She needs to be in jail. She shouldn't have done that to her baby. Uh, so Walmart doesn't care about the employees because Felicia Nicole, uh, I guess I failed to mention, was fired uh, on her next shift. So Walmart doesn't care about their employees. I was only trying to help. <clears throat> so after she was released from bail, Darby wrote a 656-word Facebook post, which I'll show you later, defending herself, claiming she was being done like Jesus was. Anytime a black woman goes through anything, she's being done like Jesus. They're the most hated. They're the most oppressed. They're the most disrespected. Not because of what you're doing. Not because of how you treat your children. Not because of the way you carry yourself out in public. 
but because you're black. Um, so she posts a bunch of photos. I mean, imagine this. Look at this right here. This is the bag of frozen. I don't even know what that is. Like hash browns or something. I'm telling you. All right. While this kid, legs exposed, uh, sits in his car seat looking. While she is doing what? What is going on here? What is going on here? Anyway. Darby and the police said the video was called about her children twice before. Um, and again, I wonder why. We know why. And so, my kid's been to Disney World, Mickey Mouse, and all this stuff. You know, what does this have anything to do with, right? I'll tell y'all about the tattoos on the chest. That's a big warning sign. Again, looks better without that crazy stuff in here, but we will refuse to go outside naturally, but we'll throw this shit on top of their head. And anywho, so <clears throat> bunch of photos, bunch of trying to prove that, I'm gonna be honest, <laughs> it might be a trick, baby. Anywho, um, start talking about uh, Santa Claus and Easter Bunny and Cupid. She's, she's talking about all these things, right? That, that, that distract from the problem. She says, my baby ain't never wore the same outfit. The motherfucker probably never wore any outfits the way you're taking them out in the damn cold, right? But like, you know, and, and <sighs> it's just a lot going on. And again, black women think doing the frivolous, the, the, the superficial stuff counts as, as good mothering, right? Or it counts as quality parenting. Taking the photos counts as quality parenting. It's so much deeper than that. But again, as long as I can show for the internet that I'm a good mom and other neglectful moms who say I'm a good mom because they do the same shit I do. I guess it's okay. But let's kind of get into to the follow-up to this story because there's a more that's happened after she was arrested. So update to the story is that the woman who was recording this video was actually a Walmart employee and she got fired. Um, I do believe there is a GoFundMe set up for her. I'm not going to promote that. I'm not, you know, hey, you got to do with that what you will. Um, you're supposed to be at work, you record, and said, I can see the premise on why you're getting fired. Um, so I'm not going to argue that. That's not my point. But she made some statements, and I made a comment earlier about the people saying she needs help and they shouldn't be recording, that people are, are always quick to want you to take on someone else's burden, right? And it's usually a certain group. It's usually a certain demographic, and you can narrow that demographic down more and more as you you know, want to get detailed about it. So that's for you to figure out. I'm not even going to push that narrative right now. But this is the Walmart worker, and this is what she had to say, you know, kind of in reference to what took place and the people who responded. And I want you to look at how she gets emotional when she starts speaking. And she mentions the people who are saying crazy things or haters making crazy comments who are judging her more so for recording than helping. Right. She's at work. So what was she supposed to do in addition to that? She did the best that she could in her position and she still lost her job. Should she have been fired? Under the circumstances, I don't think so. Under company policy, I can understand how things can get pushed this way or that way. So that's not what I'm here to argue. But just check out what she had to say on this matter. For those of you who are asking for an update, um, yes, she did go to jail. Yes, we did call the police. I mean, why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we? That's a crazy ass question to ask. When you see a child that's being neglected, don't have on any clothes, just a diaper, no shoes, no socks, no shirt, no nothing. So why wouldn't we call the fucking police? Why wouldn't we? And you know, I'm just going to ignore the hate and I'm going to ignore the crazy comments. Well, she mentions ignoring the hate and the crazy comments. And so I can only imagine just from some of the comments I've seen, but this being posted on various outlets and people excusing the behavior of the mother, 
Um, some people just will disregard any and all logic when it comes to seeing a black woman on the screen and what they perceive to be distress, even though she can be the one causing the turmoil and distress. Um, and they just throw logic out the window, help her, help her, when she is the problem. Let it be anybody else. These same people do not have that level of remorse. Um, these are black women who are attacking another black woman um, for doing what she thought was in the best interest. A woman who's going to speak on something in a minute that lets you know why she felt the way she did. And it's understandable. Now, if I'd have fired for anything, it would have been the eyelashes. Definitely would have been the eyelashes. But for what she did when it came into the situation with this child, absolutely not. But let's, let's finish it up. I know you're probably tired of this. How's a quick talk? Let me hear the video. I'm not going to respond to y'all. I'm just going to ignore y'all. She asked me, did I have a child in the video? Yes, I do have a child. He's deceased. But if my child was living, my ain't no way in hell my child would be out there with no clothes on, just a diaper. So, so again, so she mentioned that having a, a child that she lost, um, and so maybe that is what motivated her to come to the aid of this child to record what she saw. You know, being on the clock at work, you don't have many options. And then thankfully that the people did come together and see this. Thankfully that this was shown because what she's doing to this one child, the smallest, most indefensible child, who knows what's going on with the others, right? Who knows what's really going on? If this moment here, you were so careless and such an obvious moment, right? That you should be alerted that the child should have clothes on. It's cold as shit outside. Let me put some, some clothes on my child. And you don't think to do that. I can only imagine how negligent you are in many other ways. But we'll get to that as well because <clears throat> the woman has responded. Right? So what I did want to do was get into the response of the mother, but the video is almost 10 minutes long. And this video is a little bit longer already than I intended it to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the response of the mother, uh, Cambria, Gabrielle, Darby, and I hadn't really watched it. I actually had started watching it as I was kind of doing a, a record, a different recording for this. And then I realized how long it was, so I stopped. And within the first couple of minutes, it, I, I, I've already heard more than I need to know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that a separate video. And I'm going to break it down in its entirety. I'm going to chop it up as we go along because it is such a long video. So make sure you check that out. But again, hey, if you've enjoyed the video up until this point, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you're new to the den. There's so many more topics that we have to discuss. We go live weekdays, uh, 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. Central. Make sure you're a part of that. Shout out to all the den folk. I know that the last week or so, I have been a little bit neglectful with the content. I'm just trying to get some things in order, but I think we kind of got it figured out. So no more of that. But with that being said, make sure you go check out the follow-up video once that drops. I'm your boy at Honcho. This, this story is extremely baffling to me because the lack of accountability in this one is strong. But with that being said, y'all be cool like y'all be cool. Until next time, I'm out.